So you're probably thinking, Ashton, what is this on your phone? What is this tweet? Well, I asked a Brown back. I don't know if you know, but he's a live streamer. He's pretty popular. I asked him, hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a YouTube video on a deck that you choose. He chose this deck. This is a deck that he's been playing with. I've seen him play it. I know the combos. I'm gonna take out one card. I'm gonna take out that log. I, that I don't have that log. If you if you look down here, you'll see no log, right? Okay. Now that we got it situated that I don't have a log, let's go ahead and put this deck in. Cloning that Lava Hound is probably pretty genius. I just got clone. I'm gonna replace his log with Zap. I don't really play the guards that much. I haven't really played guards at all. So this is gonna be interesting to compile here. Maybe with like running with the guards, you send the Lava Hound out with the guards and you clone it. That's basically probably what it's about. Let's do a couple battles, see how we do with his deck. All right, La Mexicana, La Mexicana. All right, looks like I have a bunch of defensive items. I do see that I have a Lava Hound coming up. I'm gonna put these guards up. Ooh, those guards probably would have been pretty good against that. I wish I would have kept that Inferno Tower. Let's put this Lava Hound knowing that these guards are gonna take some of that damage. We're going to clone this. I don't think, I don't think he understands. I'm gonna put out more stuff out here, so it's just more stuff. He's gonna put out those logs. That is gonna be troublesome. I am going to clone my Lava Hound so it does that extra damage. Um, I'm gonna have to take out this. I should have placed that Tombstone a lot earlier than that, but you know what? He's gonna lose a tower. I'm gonna lose a tower. It's just all gonna be fair and square here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what, what can we do about it? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can lose towers, that's for sure. All right, I have taken his tower, and I have accomplished that. So we're going to push forward and take out <laughs> take out what is already attacking my tower, which was that golem. Uh, golem decks, are they're incredibly good. Uh, super OP. But you notice how we didn't, like, we just let each other go, like, do our own thing? That is amateur. I should have placed that tombstone down, and... Next time, I won't be making that same mistake. So I'm going to place Lava Hound over here. Knowing that its golem is coming up, I am going to save my tomb. Actually, I'm going to place my tombstone now. This way, I don't forget it. He does have a wizard. Now, how I'm going to counter the wizard is going to be pretty pretty unusual. I'm going to wait till it attacks my tombstone. Then I'll be placing Then I'll be placing my my skeleton armor. Once, once it gets that first initial attack... Looks like I'm going to zap both just just to get it out of there. I'm going to put... Great. That was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I s look at this. I still got my tombstone over here. I'm going to clone it for that double baby pup. For that double baby pup. This is why. This is why this deck is so good. Cloning that is just so good. Let's place another Lava Hound over here. My my tower is at 271. It will die to this golem if he places either a witch or a wizard behind it, which I know he's going to do, so I got to act fast. I'm going to place this tombstone again. Same combination that has been happening. Looks like he is doing the exact same thing. Let's put, do these spear goblins just for a little extra damage. Let's place these guards over here. Place this over here. You're going to think, Ashton, this is crazy. What are you doing? Why are you placing all those minions? He's just going to do something like that. That is fine. I'm okay with that. I have another tombstone. This is great. This is just all good. It's, I'm, I'm pretty happy. We're both... We're both down on the last leg here. What he doesn't know is that I have a clone coming up. Hopefully he cannot beat me and I can defend against this. I hope I I hope I can. So let's let's place that. Hopefully he destroys it. Looks like he won this one, but only by a little bit. I was too busy. If I was not paying attention on a defending myself, I would have destroyed him. Honestly, this is a great deck. I like this deck better than my other one, to be honest. I think cloning Lava Puffs is an absolute must. Anyway, that was a that was just one quick game. I play hundreds of games every day, and that is just one of mine. Anyway, this is the deck I'm rocking with right now. Thank you so much, Brown Bag, for the idea for this deck. I honestly think if I had logs, it would have been better to push back that golem, but I didn't. So. Uh, I can't really kill myself up about it. I think the zap was a great replacement. Still kept it at a 3.5 elixir cost. I think this deck's pretty good. You guys should give it a try. My name is Ashton, and I'll see you later, Z Nation. Cue that outro. Oh, by the way, if you
you guys don't know, I live stream every day at 5 p.m. on my Twitch, Z Nation. If you guys want to go there, check it out. I make cool videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.